be a yes. Please be a yes. Please be a yes. Yes! She can make it. She can make it. Going out on a limb here, but I'm guessing that Princess Caden said she can come this weekend. I'm finally going to get to spend some quality time with my sister-in-law. This is the best news ever. Um, so sorry for barging in like this, but I'm so excited I just couldn't wait to tell some pony. The Equestrian Society for the Preservation of Rare Creatures has given me permission to observe the rarest, tiniest, most adorable magical creatures in all of Equestria, the Breezies! Wow, Fluttershy, that's fantastic. Oh, it's not just fantastic. It just might be the best news ever. I just got the most incredible mail any pony's ever received in all of recorded pony puzzle history. It's a flyer about a one-day sale on used patio furniture. Ah, could this day get any better? Woohoo! My little pony. My little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? He is a rat. In case it gets cold. And I packed you a basket of nice fresh apples in case you get hungry. Have a great time. Oh, I will. And I hope you have fun with Cadence. All aboard! Goodbye. Goodbye, every pony. Nervous about Cadence's visit. What could you be nervous about, Twilight? Cadence just loves you to pieces. I know, but I really want her visit to go without a hitch. Why wouldn't it? Well, the last few times we've seen each other haven't exactly been worry-free. The fate of Equestria has hung in the balance during most of your visits with her. Exactly. Cadence and I haven't really had a chance to just enjoy being friends again. Which is why it is so important that this visit be about the two of us having some real quality time together. I'm guessing you've got a plan that'll keep it that way. The timing couldn't be more perfect. For one day only, right here in Ponyville, the Star Swirl the Bearded Traveling Museum. Cadence and I can spend the whole day looking at Star Swirl the Bearded Artifacts. Sounds like a perfect drama-free way to spend a day with Cadence. Not counting the drama surrounding which of the bells for his cloak they've chosen to put on display. Spoiler alert, it's this one. Uh, sorry, something in my throat. Like a big ball of flame. I think it sounds delightful. Yep, definitely sounds like you two will have some real quality time together. Exactly, just quiet time. <laughs> Your Highness. Your Highness. <laughs> I'm teasing, Twilight. We're sisters-in-law. We don't have to be so formal. Knowing you, you've made some plans. Boy, have I. Hang on just one second. You guys, now, now, don't you worry about a thing. We will make sure that nothing but nothing interferes with your visit. Go on, have a hoot nanny with your kinfolk. You really are the best friends a pony could ever have. Come in, Cadence! Huh? <gasps> Two sisters-in-law bonding? Well, I, for one, am going to make sure that nothing spoils their day. What is that thing? Whatever it is. Oh, not a 
what? But who, dear? Oh, no! That sounds like... <laughs> Discord! <laughs> What in tarnation are you doing here? And why the jumping June bugs are you blue? More like a shade of cerulean, to be precise. Whatever color you are is the color of trouble. Oh, Rainbow Dash, I've changed. Surely you remember I was reformed by lovely little... <laughs> Fluttershot. What are you, sick or something? Well, of course I'm sick. The blue skin? These sneezes. Could somebody find me a fainting couch? What? Oh, charming, thank you. I can't stop sneezing and wheezing. In short, I need help. If you're so sick, why have you come here instead of, you know, staying home in bed and getting over your weird illness? <laughs> Oh, because this condition has left me helpless. Simply helpless. Why, I can barely lift a spoon. I came to find the one pony who truly understands me and could nurse me back to health. Where is that dear, sweet Fluttershy? I need attention. I need some care. I need... You need to chill. Fluttershy's out. Oh, of course. Her trip to see the Breezies. Oh, yes, well, I had forgotten that that was today. How do you know about her trip? Well, she told me about it in her last letter. You and Fluttershy write each other letters? Well, of course we do. We're friends. <laughs> It's just such a shame that today of all days is when I really need her. Oh, well, I know what to do. Good thinking. Head on home, put your feet up. I'm sure eventually you'll have the strength to make yourself soup or something. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, while she's gone, you ponies can take care of me. Isn't that what friends are for? Taking care of each other. <laughs> oh, let the healing begin. Not it. Well, that's some way to treat a suffering friend. <laughs> Don't you worry, Discord. I'll give you cuddles and read stories and tell you all about me. I was born on a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet to offer. But Rarity and Applejack already volunteered to be my own personal nursemaids. <laughs> we did? I so hope you don't mind, Pinkie Pie. Well, as a matter of fact, I most certainly... Who keeps throwing away these perfectly good balloons? That Joker's up to something. And whatever it is, we're gonna keep it as far away from Twilight and Princess Cadence as possible. You're right. We promised we wouldn't let anything ruin their visit. Although I do so wish that anything had turned out to be something else. Did I hear you two talking about Princess Cadence's visit with Princess Twilight? Maybe. Fluttershy had mentioned that those two were getting together today. Mm, how wonderful for them both. It is so rare that those two get to see one another. I don't know about you, but I sometimes wonder how close they could actually be all those years apart before being reunited. They're plenty close. And if they're not, this rare opportunity to focus on their friendship will certainly bring them closer. Unless... Don't even think about it. They mustn't be disturbed. Disturb them? Why, I wouldn't dream of it. Not when I have two such dear friends of my own who have already offered to take care of me. And at such peril. This flu of mine is highly... <coughs> contagious. <coughs> oh, no. I've gotten you both sick. Whomever shall I turn to now in my time of need? <laughs> day to celebrate Star Swirl of Bearded. What could be better? Absolutely nothing. Is that the candlestick he used to light the way when he was exploring the caverns of Mertania? It sure is. Oh, I can't believe I'm getting to see it in real life. What 
are you doing here? Oh, dear, dear princesses. I'm sorry to say that I'm sick. <laughs> Blue flu. Blue flu? Oh, I fear I've already given it to poor Applejack and Rarity. <laughs> <laughs> Magic health bubble. Good thinking. Indeed. How would Twilight nurse me back to health if she was sick too? You will be letting me stay at your place until I'm all better, won't you? Stay with me? Uh, now is not really the best time, though I'm sure you already knew that. But taking in the sick and the desperate, isn't that what Fluttershy would do? Isn't helping something that friends do for friends? Unless, of course, you're really saying that you're not my friend. No, that is not what I'm saying. Oh, how elated I am to hear that. Shall the three of us head back to your place? I don't want to get any pony else sick. <sighs> Guess we don't have much choice. Carry me. It isn't far. I think you can manage. Oh, <laughs> Need anything else? Just knowing that I have a good friend like you to take care of me has made me feel better already. I'll be fine here on my own. Oh, just before you go, uh, just a little small request. <sighs> it's going to be fine. We'll just get him what he wants and be back to the exhibit in no time. What was it that you needed? A little glass of water, please. A fresh pressed hanky if I sneeze. Some tea with honey from the bees. Whenever you can brew it. I'll get your tea. And while I get a little rest, a teeny tiny small request. Some codfish oil for my chest. Poured from a crystal cruet. A crystal cruet? My goodness, I'm a nincompoop because I fear I got the croup. I need a vat of pumpkin soup and skulls made out of zinnias. Did I say zinnias? I meant silk or something shiny of that ilk. And then I'll need some nice warm milk and pastry from Absinia. And since my stomach's feeling crummy, why not give my aching tummy something soothing, something yummy piled up with noodles? Add a slice of home Made rye with stacks of Swiss, way up high, served with sides of sweet mints, buy more basil, I need noodles! Anything else? I'll be grateful for your charity until the bitter end. Because I've heard that tenderness is what you lend an ailing friend. Tenderness, isn't that right, friend? Right, but... So, who's ready for my big reprise? I'd like that glass of water, please. Some magic spell to cure disease. A firm cushion twoof when I sneeze. A fresh bouquet of roses. Some lozenges will soon appease my wheezing when I start to sneeze. A week to keep me from the breeze and blankets for my toes. Take tweezers out of my valise and then massage my knobby knees. A bowl of peas, some extra cheese, a couple with a Pekingese, a singing harp whose name Louise, a goat on skis, a new trapeze, and more and more and more and more of these. And just because I ought to make sure I'm drinking in the right amount of fluids day and night, I wish I may, I wish I might have just one little thing. Oh, would you please finally bring me that tiny glass? Oh. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Achoo! All right, this is ridiculous. How did you even catch this flu? Inadequate hoof and claw washing. There must be some way to just cure you. There has to be a spell or a remedy in one of my books. There is one way. And you didn't think to mention it earlier? Slipped my mind. On a hill, at the very edge of Equestria, there grows an exquisite magic flower. Pick the flower as it drops its petals at sunset. Then you can make a magical soothing elixir to cure the blue flu. I suppose you have a good reason you didn't bother to go get this flower as soon as you realized you were sick. Well, I couldn't travel that far in my condition. By the time I got there, I'd be too weak to even attempt to retrieve the flower. So, where exactly are Cadence and I headed? Well, <clears throat> you want to head north? Turn left? Oh, you know, it would be much easier if I took you there myself. 
I thought you were in no condition to travel. I'm not. We'll need to make some arrangements. <laughs> Okay there? <laughs> to be honest, I'm a little out of practice when it comes to flying. Well, then lucky for you, we're here. It's just at the top of that hill. I'm really sorry about this. All I wanted was for us to have some peaceful quality time together. I know. I was looking forward to it too. This is the top, but where is that flower? Oh, come on. If we hurry, we can still have some time together. in this flower back home. Then all our problems are what solved. What an Equestria? Okay, actually. Then let's get Discord back to Ponyville, make that elixir, and finally get a chance to spend some quality time together. To the ends of Equestria, to face such great danger. And she did it for me. She did it all for me, for me, for me. <laughs> But I had a very good reason. We're listening. Well, I was in my thinking tree. That's where I do most of my really deep thinking. I was there and I said to myself, I said, Discord, your friend Twilight says that she's your pal, but she never writes and she never pops in for a visit. I don't even know where you live. Now that she's a princess, maybe she's decided that she's too good for you. I have never considered myself too... But how was I supposed to know for sure that I'm truly still friends with one of the most important ponies around? I'm not more... By seeing if you would go to the ends of Equestria for me, of course. Which you did, literally. Congratulations, Twilight. You passed my friendship test. <laughs> Why the angry eyes? You love passing tests. It's not because my little exam put a damper on your visit with Princess Cadence, is it? Made it so that there was no time for you two to focus on your friendship. You didn't put a damper on our visit at all. You I didn't? didn't? Spending the day at the Star Swirl the Bearded Exhibit would have been more relaxing. But to be honest, relaxation is the last thing I need. It is? Don't get me wrong, life in the Crystal Empire is wonderful, but it's become a little... predictable. I enjoy a little excitement now and then. Getting to face all these challenges today was just what I needed. And facing them with you just made me realize even more how lucky I am to have some pony like you as a friend. 
We may not see each other very often, but I know you'll always be there when I need you. Just like she was there for you, Discord. Yes, she's a real sweetheart. We're all so lucky to have her in our lives. <laughs> in the world! I think it's pretty clear that my visit with Cadence didn't go quite the way I expected. But in the end, I realized that when you're with a good friend, even the most chaotic day can end up being a great experience that brings you closer. Wouldn't you agree, Discord? Yes, Twilight. I don't want to go saying you got what you deserved. Well, I have no trouble saying it. You got what you deserved. Now, now, he's learned his lesson. Isn't that right, my little patient? I'm so glad that you're back from your trip, Fluttershy. Just your presence here is making me feel so much better. I, I was just wondering, could I trouble you for just one more thing? No! What? I was simply going to ask for a teeny tiny glass of water. <laughs> <laughs>